Welcome back and good morning everybody. It's Sunday morning and we're back. Long Beach High Performance Swap Meet. So let's get in there, see what good deals we can find today. Hopefully it's a good day. As you can see, it is kind of cloudy, kind of gloomy out here in Long Beach. So hopefully the vendors come and hopefully we find some good deals. So if you guys have been watching my videos and you're liking the content, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. But let's get in there and see if we can find any good deals. So it is not looking too bad today. Looking like there's a lot of vendors. Ooh, check out this Baja bug. I always wanted to buy one of these Baja bugs. Five grand clean title. It's all rusty up in there. It's got some good parts. Oh man, it's very rusty. Look at the front of that. Nope, not worth five grand. Oh, but he has the parts to fix it. We got some Hemi race valve covers, aluminum, big two-stage clutch right there. Cool stuff, just nothing I need. How much you guys sell? Is that yours? Oh, that's that gentleman right there sitting down with the blue hat. <laughs> How much do you guys sell the front ends, the, the grills? Uh, 50. You have one? 1400? That's this one, right? The one in the front? Which one's the 50? This one. Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys know, but the, the 1950s, the Chevys, you don't see many, many of them now, but Back in the 50s, that was a Honda Accord. Meaning they were everywhere. Mid 50s Chevys were everywhere. 54, 53, 55. I guess it's a good thing for us, right? Because that means there's still a whole bunch of parts left over. So when you do find one of these old keeps, you can find the parts and get it all, get it all put back together. What are these springs for? Uh, Mustang. Oh, Fox body? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. No? Late model. Late model. Lowering one. Got power screen, power brakes, power windows, power door locks, low current uh, shifter. It's got uh, brand, brand new small block 400 in it. It's all aluminum. Uh, uh, aluminum heads. All that. What are you asking for it? Twenty. Twenty? Yeah. It just it needs paint. It needs to be reupholstered. Oh, it's kind of it's already hot rotted out. See the these this style aftermarket tail light. Usually these have a a light that hangs off the side right here. I mean, for 20 grand, it's not bad. I mean, if you're looking for a project, not a project, but something you could just drive and tinker with, it's not a bad price. $20,000. Okay. What yeah. Are those AOD trannies or no. no? C6 with a trans brake. Okay. Big stall converter, reverse shift pattern. C6 small block Ford. That's all rebuilt. Both of them are just gone through. Yeah, it's got it's got a shift kit in it. It's got billet uh, uh, converter in it. 
pretty it's nice transmission. Streetable or not? Oh, no, yeah. no, no. It's yeah. just streetable. It's an automatic shift. Right. Or you can make it shift by itself. Oh, okay. Yeah, streetable. It's got like a 3,000 stall converter in it. Okay. So you have a little, you know, camshaft and stuff like that. But we end up putting an AOD. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why. So those are still three speed trannies, right? They're still three speed, but they'll never break. Uh, what are you asking for that? Uh, I take uh, 15 for it. Oh, wow. Look at that converter. Yeah. Yeah, it's a billet <laughs> converter. But you didn't bring it here. The car. Good morning. Good morning. What you asking for the heads? 18. They just stock AFR or they've been redone? Uh, I don't have no information on them. Okay. But they were on a running car though. Um, they did the Coyote stock on there. Oh, okay. He's a cool looking. Check out this Thunderbird for sale. Thirteen thousand dollars. Look okay, but. I don't like this year Thunderbird. It's not a bad price. It's pretty original, pretty solid. Go ahead. Yeah, keep the loading. Yeah. <laughs> we'll help you out, huh? Yeah. What are you asking for these? About uh, 50. Only because I can't make it anymore. You used to make these? or? Well, I, I made it, but now they want like $40 to make them. Oh, just for the, yeah. the material, huh? The aluminum, dude. Yeah. Do you have a Cobalt? Sorry? Do you have a Cobalt? No, I have Mustangs. Mustang. It just looks cool. All right. Uh, all right. Those are your wheels and tires? Yeah. Are, are they a set? Like those tires go to those wheels? Or? They did, yeah. What are you asking for them? One, 200 on the wheels and... Uh, on the tires. They were on, they were mounted? These tires were on these wheels, yeah. And this is a universal pattern on, is it Ford or Chevy? Chevy, Chevy and Ford, yeah. What's the backspacing on that? I don't uh, know if you three know. Three and a half on the rear, on the eights. Uh-huh. Four on the sixes. Well, they might the fit. Fall out oh, of it has the caps. Here's <clears throat> yeah, these are three and a half back. Those are for the disc brake deal. In, disc brake in the front, not in the rear. Yeah, yeah. that's what the exact same setup. What were they on? 64 Falcon. Oh, man. I want them for a 64 Fairly. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, let me, let me walk around. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Eleven thousand dollars. Quarter panel was hacked in. That's a pretty hacky job right there.
No thanks. For 11 grand is a lot of work. This Impala's in better shape. The original panels. A little bit of rust right there. This one doesn't look too bad for 13 grand. Compared to the other one for 11 grand, I already had the quarter panel chopped off. Check this Chevy out. Convertible 52. 15 grand. But it is a beautiful car. Is it worth 15 grand? I don't know, it's got a lot of rust. These convertibles fall apart. There's another Impala for sale, 65. This one's running and driving. How much? 22 grand. That's about right. It's a decent car. You can drive this thing out of the swap meet. Probably even registered. It's a nice car. I've always liked these Impalas. So that was pretty much it for the swap meet. But check out this F-150. I don't know if Ford actually makes these. Shelby. Uh, single caps like this. That says... 700 horsepower Super Snake Sport. I mean, it's a cool looking truck. See that? 770 horses. Check out that Type 3. Rolling by. Pretty cool, man. But, anyways, let's rock around and see if there's any cars that interest me today. Here's a 396 Chevelle for sale. Big block. Wow. What's up, brother? How are you? Hey, good. How are you? Good. Looking at the wheel side? Yeah. It's a beautiful car. Looks like everything's done on it. 84000 dollars Woo. It's a good price for it, I guess. But it, it is really nice. It's a twin turbo LS powered. Seventy something. Camaro. Looks like they use it. You see all the rubber on the back fender there? Been through a few friendly uh, street races, it looks like. Full race car. There you go. Cool looking 56. Oh, here's something you don't see every day. This Cutlass Supreme right here, it's probably like late 70s probably 78 79 but it's got this this like fake wheel on the back and skirts pretty cool this El Camino looks really cool nah it's a shot <laughs> got them big meats in the back oh yeah this one may be a little bit modified as you can see the air cleaner right there so it's probably a turbocharged engine in there under the hood right there there's a cutlass 442 Let's check out the interior oh, pretty stock if you guys know what cutlass 442 stands for Go ahead and drop it in the comments. See how many people can get the right answer. I mean, I myself don't really know. I know it's 400 cubic inch, four speed. See, I'm already wrong. 
I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. <laughs> it's a cool early Volkswagen. Has the original patina. Slam to the ground. It's like early 60s, late 50s. Looks really nice. Check out this Galaxy. This huge monster of a car. Big old land yacht. I think that's what they used to call them. It's probably 20 feet long. That's cool. LS powered 63, 62 Impala. Looks like it's getting a little hot for those fake white walls. Oh man, it's really nice. All redone. Is it for sale? 50,000. Oh, it's a GNX. I wonder if it's a real Grand National or a real GNX. Man, it's like brand new in there. Nah, that's a beautiful car. Check out this Nissan Z. This is real 70s style. These racing stripes, they used to call them. It's cool seeing one that still has them. You could buy them off the lot like that. Check that out. Nice looking Pontiac. Well, anyways, you could buy them off the lot like this, but they weren't from the factory. So this would go to some aftermarket dude. He would paint these on and they would pick, stick it back on the lot and sell it. Looking real cool. Oh man, look at this Type 3. VW notch back. An early 60s, 65, probably 66. Here's this really nice Nova. And it's for sale. Probably pretty solid, man. A little bit of rust in the usual spots, but solid car. Hey. Got a stroker, 30 grand for a 63 Nova. 25 grand for that 50 Chevy. Business scoop. 68 Bronco, 289 automatic for sale. This is probably like a $60,000 car right here. Looks like it's a factory restoration. It's amazing to see how expensive these Broncos are nowadays. I mean, they're always desirable, but man, $60,000 for this thing? It's a lot of money. I mean, I'm assuming 60, I'm pretty sure. They don't have the price on it, but that's what I'm guessing it is. Looks like all the K5 Blazers decided to come out today. They got almost every year and every version of it. See, this is, that's a truck. If this is late 80s, I can tell by the grill. I mean, I don't know exactly what year, same thing. Late 80s. This one's a 67, 69. K5 Blazer. So these older ones, see how the top is totally removable? And then the later ones, they stop right here. And this is part of the, the roof of the of the vehicle. This one's completely gone. These are awesome. 
There's a 74, 75. There's another 70s, another 60s. That's a GMC. Another 80s. It's another 70s. Yep, every version and almost every year of the K5 Blazer is parked right here. I mean, in my opinion, the early or well, the late 60s are the the most well, the nicest ones. These aren't too bad. I like the square bodies, but late 60s is probably the prettiest. Oh, check out this Nomad wagon, Chevy wagon. It looks like they chopped the, the top of the roof, slammed it. Molded the rear, the rear bumper right there. They might have done this because it had probably too much rust in here. It's a cool looking wagon though, check that out. Front end molded. Right there you would have the grill, that's all gone. Molded in, it's a bad looking wagon. Slammed to the ground. That's it, guys. That's enough swap meet for this morning, at least. Because, you know, I go to all of them. Well, most of them. I think next week I'm going to go to the Roadster Show. And they have a swap meet there. I'm going to go check that out. But as far as this one goes, I think we're done. Please like and subscribe if you're liking the content. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.